Hello everybody, we're back with an easy SAT geometry problem. In the figure above, segment PD is parallel to AE. So these two segments are parallel. What is the length of segment CE? So we're interested in the length of this segment. Now, before we go any further, we need to realize something. Triangles CDB, that is this one, and CEA, that is this one, are similar triangles. That means all angles are actually the same. And there is a very important thing you need to know about similar triangles. They are proportional. That means there is always a ratio in the length of the sides of those triangles. In order to find this ratio, we need to divide one side of one triangle by the same side of the other triangle. So let's divide the vertical side of triangle CEA, 18, by the vertical side of the triangle CDB, 6. That gives us a 3. That means the ratio between these two triangles is 3. So triangle CEA is three times larger than triangle CDB and all sides will be three times larger. Now that we know the ratio, we're interested in finding the length of the side CE. Well, in order to do that, we first need to find the length of the side CD and then we can multiply it by the ratio that is 3 and get the length of the side CE. So let's find CD. In order to find the length of the side CD, what we need to do is to use the Pythagorean theorem. Length of the side CD is going to be equal to square root of length of the side CB squared plus length of the side BD squared. Well, this comes from the Pythagorean theorem. For those who do not know this theorem, the equation goes like this. A squared must be equal to C squared plus B squared for all right triangles that is for all triangles that have one angle that is equal to 90 degrees and from here we can rearrange that a is equal to take a square root of both sides square root of c squared plus b squared now let's go back to our problem here we are trying to find the length of segment cd so it is going to be equal to square root of 64 plus 36 that gives us a square root of 100 and square root of 100 is 10. So CD is equal to 10. Now we know that there is a ratio, there is a proportion, and it is that CE must be three times larger than CD. So CE is equal to 3 multiplied by 10, and that gives us 30. So our answer is CE is equal to 30 units. And let's find CA, for example. Well, we know that CB is equal to 8. We know that the ratio is 3. And again, in order to find CA, just multiply CB by 3. So 8 times 3 is 24. So CA would be 24 units long.